We are here with our special guest, Matt Gossard, ladies and gentlemen. Matt, uh, we ran across in the oddest way. He sent me a note, I guess it was on Instant Messenger, and he said, do you know any bands around here that we could play with? And I said, yeah, it just so happens. <laughs> so uh, Matt sat in with us uh, with Harry, Harry Wilson, and boy, what a, what a player this guy is. We have no idea where he came from, so we're about to find out. Uh, the first question we always ask is, are you from around here or elsewhere? So, not originally from here. Uh, grew up and was born um, in Michigan. Where? I uh, grew up in Dearborn, just outside Detroit. Oh, I know. Yeah. And went to college at the University of Michigan, studied um, jazz studies, mm -hmm. doing jazz performance. Um, got to study saxophone and also bass there with Andrew Bishop and also Robert Hurst who's played on The Tonight Show band, right, right. and then also went on with uh, Bradford Marcellus after that. And then for grad school, moved to uh, Toledo, Ohio, mm -hmm. and then studied with uh, Gunnar Mosplad there, mm -hmm. and was uh, had a grad assistantship. And then afterwards, I was looking for a job, and that's what led me um, to Northern Virginia, and then a few years later, bought a house down here in mm -hmm. Spotsylvania, and then it was during... Um, was it a few years ago, like just when COVID hit and right after, like having played for a while um, with other musicians, I was had to just practice in at home. And that's why I was just like, hey, trying to see, hey, what's the jazz scene like in Fredericksburg? And then you sent a response back and said, hey, you guys are playing at, yeah. uh, was it Pig Pig, Pit? Yeah, Pig Pen yeah. and come on pig out. Pit. Or Pig <laughs> Pit. So, um, and it was a pit. And it was a bunch of pigs, too, I'll tell you that. Yep. Yeah, I remember it was hot that night, but I still had fun. And, yeah, sat in for a couple songs with you guys. Yeah. And then, yeah, I just started playing a little bit with Harry Wilson. And yeah. I got plugged in with the Fredericksburg Big Band. And then, yeah, so it's been lots of fun. Well, we have a lot in common. I, actually, you and uh, Steve and myself, we were both, we're all three Michigan boys. I'm from Lapeer, Michigan. So, uh, I also went to... Michigan. In the yeah, 1960s. he went to. Yeah, Steve went to Michigan too. Yeah. So, uh, boy, I'll tell you. I played lots of gigs in Ann Arbor and Detroit. Yeah, well, we all did. I mean, uh, Michigan uh, in, a, in that era was, was. really was. the, the hot point of the country for music. And if you were a mu musician back then, man, you could get work no matter what. That's right. Let me ask you this: uh, What brought you to jazz? Did you start out? playing and thinking, oh, I want to be a jazz cat, or did you do the, what a lot of us did, played Rocky Roll and country and other, everything else beforehand? So for me, I grew up around jazz, classical music, mostly jazz there, because um, my grandfather was a trumpet player. He played with uh, the Sam Donahue Big Band and oh. played with uh, up at the Mackinac Island for mm -hmm. several summers and yeah. stuff, but yeah, he was, he was a traveling musician, and then... My dad was a band director mm. and then just grew up around jazz my whole life. And same thing, me and both my brothers were all band directors. So it was just sort of the whole family thing. Because um, I played sax on a bass, had a brother that played trumpet and a bass, another brother <laughs> played drums. So I had that little band there um, growing up. And then now we're all in three different states, but mm. has a lot of music and jazz growing up there. I often ask people when they come here, especially people from, that aren't from this area, uh, were you a bit surprised when you came to this little tiny place, Fredericksburg, Virginia, and saw all these fabulous musicians playing around here? Um, yeah, it, sh it shocked me here because I didn't know that there was really a jazz scene in Fredericksburg because yeah. a lot of the stuff I saw was a lot of like heavy metal and all this crazy mm -hmm. music and genres going on out there. And then after I met you guys, and then also got plugged in with the Fredericksburg Big Band, I was like, oh, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> jazz musicians between Richmond all the way up yeah. to uh, D.C. there. And I always get more phone calls now and emails than I can uh, yeah. take a hold of with those gigs there. So it definitely keeps me busy. Well, it, it really does. And uh, we always mention that when we do these interviews. Uh, people see this from all over the country, you know, and uh, I kind of like to do a little advertisement for our little town here, Fredericksburg, Virginia. You got anything coming up that we should be aware of? Uh, the next few gigs coming up are all with the Fredericksburg Big Band because mm -hmm. we have a couple um, charity concerts putting on, and then December have a few Christmas concerts here. 
Sounds good to me. Matt, it's been great having you. You played fantastic, as you always do. I knew that this was going to be a good one when you decided to come and join us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for being with us. Let's hear it for Matt. Yeah.